Hey guys, it's some old guy coding again today. I've, uh, sorry about the odd angle that you've got here, but um, a few years back, um, actually probably a decade ago or so now, I had uh, picked up a, a DPM C8. It's a PV keyboard. It's just a MIDI controller. It was a, a super heavy monster, and it's probably mostly because of the, this thing is really heavy. It's a kind of an early hammer action keyboard. It's not as nice as some of the new ones now, but it, it's, it's not a, a mushy uh, synthesizer keyboard either. So, I, I kind of like that keyboard, <clears throat> you know, but it, it really uh, it, it died on me, started giving an error code, and I searched and tried, tried to fix it, and it wouldn't happen. So finally I decided to get rid of it, and uh, I still have some parts around here. I've got the, um, the um, modifier wheels. And <laughs> and the floppy drive. I don't know why I kept that, but <clears throat> I was always I also kept the keyboard here, and I was really hoping that maybe someday you know we could play around and uh, see if we could modify this to uh, reconnect to a uh, to a MIDI system again. And so let me turn it over because it's really really heavy. Wow. <clears throat> Trying not to drop it. There, set it there. So um, here's the connector, of course, that uh, it used to connect to the main keyboard with, or the main the main motherboard. And uh, I was just trying to look at this to figure out. See those little switches here? Those are little springs, and it looks like it between goes between two. Um, two uh, bars from what I can tell down here. Are we even on the screen? Sure. A little bit. There we are. Okay. So, and some of them look a bit corroded, so maybe this isn't such a um, great project, but um, so there's two bars. I was thinking there might be a third uh, a third connector, but I'm just not seeing it. So this thing does do velocity, so it must uh, take the time from being connected to one to the time it's connected to the other, and then calculate that as the velocity. Um, you know, so, you know, really fast, it's harder, if you go slower, it's softer. Um, the old synthesizers, like uh, the Micro Moog, uh, I think had another bus bar that it used as an indication that there was a key down. And this <coughs> this doesn't seem to have that. So, and of course, there they were metal feelers on the uh, uh, the Micro Move too. So there was like a couple of metal feelers, gold gold coated feelers that would come down onto uh, two bus bars and indicate uh, set the voltage first, and then of course indicate that the key was down. So. Is this something we can actually make use of again? I don't know. <clears throat> it's looking to me like it's a solid pair of bus bars all the way through. So, this of course is divided in half here, so I assume they're a jumper to cross. Let's, let's find out. <clears throat> and I'll see if I can get you some close-up pictures of that key action down here too, of how that's uh, working. Let's see, let's put it on tone. So if we just go between a couple of these bus bars, I assume they're connected. But then again, maybe not. Those two are. Those are not. Interesting. So here's the limit here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, that's an odd number to be connected together. It's good for digital, but. This way then. So 
once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're grouped into, um, I guess they are multiplexed. I wasn't thinking they'd be multiplexed, but apparently they are into groups of eight. Well, that's kind of neat. So um, you could scan. Um, it's a good scan each section and read a byte in as to um, what the status is of the connections. Cool. We got a lot of diodes in here, probably because it is a matrix. And the question is, what will the pinout be? Hmm. This is a 40 pin connector. We'll have to experiment with it a bit more. Interesting to see how it works though. They've got this piece of felt down here to help keep these uh, little springs from going boing too much. Kind of dampening that. And uh, let me see if I can get this guy on his edge again. <coughs> and we can look at the uh, simulated hammer action going on here. <coughs> See if we can get this in front of the camera here. So, this is the uh, simulated hammer action here. So, this gives you a little kick that uh, feels like you're hitting something. And if we were had this keyboard right side up, then this would keep resetting down like that. So, gives you the feeling like you're actually hitting a hammer. <clears throat> I don't think it's quite as good as some of the new keyboards. It, it feels kind of clunky, but uh, you know, that's probably where a lot of the weight comes from. There's probably little weights in in the ends there, along with all the steel and everything else. And of course, we have this little thing that comes down here that holds that uh, spring on this end. It's clipped in there somehow and that moves it right here between two different bus bars. There's one, there's one here and then there's one on top so when you press it, it connects to one as opposed to the other. So, interesting business. Can you even see that? Probably not. Yeah, just barely. There's the spring right there. Up and down. Yep. Yeah. Interesting.